Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to make Ajalu Esme. Ajalu Esme, it's a, a Turkish starter that you normally get when you go into the restaurants. They normally give that to you to start off. <clears throat> I've got um, loads of friends asking me to show them how it's made. So especially to my friend Sue and Billy who love this and wants to know how to make it. So here we are with the ingredients. Um, you've got, I'm going to use two onions and two cloves of garlic. So two onions and two cloves of garlic. You're also going to need um, juice of one lemon. We're going to need parsley. I've already um, cut some up and wash them and you really need to dry them well so that's why I've got them in the cloth so I'll be keep drying it before I dice it all up tomatoes I've um, got two large tomatoes and two small tomatoes you can either peel the skin off or you can dice them up like that and then I've got um, different peppers you've got a red pepper which is a sweet pepper really and tastes nice and then I've got some sweet and uh, really chilli ones. So we'll need different types of peppers. Um, and that's a really hot one. And we're also going to need pepper puree. So you've got your tomato puree and you've also got pepper puree. So it's made out of red peppers. So we're going to need to have just a teaspoon of pepper uh, puree and teaspoon of tomato puree. You're also going to need some olive oil and then you're going to need black pepper. You're going to need some dried mint, about two uh, teaspoons of dried mint. This is chilli um, flakes, chilli pepper, so we need to put a little bit of that. This is again chilli pepper. Uh, it's a bit, bit hotter than the one before, so a little bit of that. This is called sumak. Sumak. It's um. It's I don't know what it is in in um, English, but basically they're like um. Flowers. They uh they come out red flowers and they dry them up and then they mix them up with salt and we use it for salads and that it has like a lemony flavour so we're going to use some of that and again I've got another type of um, oops, chili hot peppers so all this ingredient and of course not to forget in salt we're also going to need some salt so all these um, ingredients is needed to make that. Now what we need to do is make sure, like I said, everything's got to be washed and dried uh, and then just keep uh, dicing up into very fine small pieces. I wouldn't recommend you using a blender uh, because then it becomes watery. So just get your chopping board out and your knife and start chopping it. So I'll get them all chopped up and I'll come back to you. Right, here we are, all diced up, diced up onions, two onions and two cloves of garlic, a mixture of green peppers, chilli and normal and a red pepper, parsley and tomatoes. So I've chopped them all up. Um, once you chop them up, this is my good knife, so once I've chopped it up, then get a big knife and you can either have one of those, you know, the lopsided ones or just um, on the tip of your knife just press it down and just keep pressing it going around like that with your knife to get them finely chopped. Now that we've got our chopped up uh, all our vegetables that we're going to be using you need to make the sauce now. So into that I've got um, a little bit of um, tomato puree This is going to be fun. There we are. So, and also a teaspoon of pepper puree. Um, this is um, juice of one lemon. 
and that's how much it's come to. So I've got a juice of lemon in that. And I've also got a um, little bit of olive oil. Pour that in there as well. And then you want to um, mix it all up. Some people put, put um, pomegranate juice. I don't like pomegranate juice, so I'm not going to put any. Uh, and then we need to put our seasoning. I won't put all the um, chilli flakes because I think it will be too hot then. So I'll just put a little bit of that chilli plate. Uh, I'll put some of this, which isn't chilli, it's just uh, paprika. This is, so that that's okay. Um, this is very hot, so maybe just a... A tiny bit obviously you just do it to your own taste because if you like it spicy then by all means put more spice uh, black pepper uh, need to have dried mint so this is dried mint so I'm going to put two of that so that's dried mint and like I said I don't know what this is called but it's just like a, a, a lemony flavor so obviously if you haven't got it, just leave that behind. And of course, again, I've almost forgotten your salt. So a teaspoon of salt and then mix it all up well. Right, so I've stirred it up all well so that tomato puree and the pepper puree is thingy and now what you want to do is pour it on top of your um, mixture you just need to pour that on top and give it a good mix so i'm just going to mix it all up now and come back to you sorry about this i'm working on one hand okay here we are after you mix it all up and give it a good mix like i said this normally is a mezzet a starter dish that you get in the Tur Turkish restaurants. You normally get served um, some bread um, in a little side dish. You also um, They also serve the yogurt dip next to it as well. The whole idea with that is that you spread a little bit of this and then spread a little bit of the yogurt and the coolness of the yogurt and the spicy um, in this mixture uh, complements each other so this is how it gets eaten um, I'm just gonna taste it I haven't tasted it yet here we go whoops mm. you can tell I taste all the freshness of it but it's not too spicy I haven't put a lot of spices in that's good there's a, a, a ting of spice there, but obviously you go ahead and make it how you like it. You can put more spices, you can put your own flavourings. Like I said, some people put the pomegranate juice in this as well as the lemon juice. Some people uh, put vinegar in it. It all depends what you like. But olive oil and lemon juice is the main uh, sauce that goes in it. I hope you give it a go. Let me know what you think of it. Um, until next time oh well, next time I better make um, the yoghurt dip for you as well so come on then Billy you love this let's see you make some take care thank you for watching I'll see you all soon bye for now